Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. In this video, we are going to be going over slope-intercept form. And when you try to find the equation of a line, many times the directions often tell you to express your answer in slope-intercept form. And many people have no idea what that means. Um, so in this video, I'm going to teach you what slope-intercept form really is and how to express your answer in slope-intercept form. So here we have the equation of a line, 3x plus 2y equals 4. And what we want to do is we want to get this line, and we want to express this line in slope-intercept form. And the only thing that you need to know to get the line in slope-intercept form, and I wrote it for you in green on the left-hand side, it says in order to get the equation of a line into slope-intercept form, you want to get y by itself. Um, so essentially, you just want to solve this equation for y. We want to get y by itself, okay? Um, so we have 3x plus 2y on the left side, so we just want to get y by itself. So we need to get rid of this x. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. Um, so notice how the 3x's cancel out on the left-hand side. And the only thing we're left with is a 2y on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, the only thing we're left with is a negative 3x plus 4. So once again, we're trying to get y by itself. And as you can see, y isn't completely by itself yet. It's still being multiplied by the 2. Um, so in order to get y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So now on the left-hand side, the 2's cancel out, and we do have y by itself. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 3x over 2, which can just be written as negative 3 over 2x, plus 4 divided by 2, uh, which 4 over 2 is just 2. And now, since we got y by itself, we have turned this equation of a line into slope-intercept form. And many of you are probably wondering why it's called slope-intercept form. And the answer to that question is much easier than you think. Uh, the reason why it's called slope-intercept form is because the number before the x is always going to be your slope. And the constant on the right is always going to be your y-intercept. So that is why it's called slope-intercept form. So because we know the slope and the y-intercept, this equation of a line is much easier to graph than you think. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to show you a graph of this line. The first thing I like to do is to plot the y-intercept. Uh, the y-intercept is 2. So we know that this line is going to cross the y-axis at 2. The y-axis is the axis going up and down. Uh, notice how if you go up 1 and you go up 2, uh, this line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 2. And we also know that this line has a slope of negative 3 over 2. And what I like to do is to go up 3 units, because we have a 3 in the numerator. So we go up 3, 1, 2, 3. And we either go to the right or to the left 2 units. And because it's negative, we're going to go to the left. If it was positive, we would go to the right, but because it's negative, we're going to go to the left two units because we have a 2 in the denominator. So we go over 1, 2, and I plotted that next point in green. So now that we have two points, we can just connect the dots, and we have our line. So I hope this video helped you understand what slope-intercept form really is. If you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring, for homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Once again, that is a mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Also, if you like my style of teaching and you want to see some more of my videos, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching my video, and take care.